drilling holes using the second story work surface. Please refer to our videos for setting up stacked bits and for assembly of the second story work surface. We have the second story set up on our machine. We want to make sure that we've filled the coolant reservoir and that the sponge is thoroughly soaked. This is going to provide the lubrication to the diamond bit as we grind. It's very important the diamond stays properly lubricated. We're going to drill in a piece of glass today we've marked. You could easily do this on stone, tile, ceramic. We're going to start our hole by holding the glass at a 45 degree angle to the bit edge and as we feel the bit grab the glass we're going to slowly rotate the glass until it sits flat on top of the bit. Drilling heads have diamond on the very top. We want to make sure that we keep the sponge soaked and the bit properly lubricated. If at any time the grinding residue appears dry, it means you're not getting enough coolant to the bit. You need to check your sponge and your coolant level. Also let the diamond do the grinding. You're going to rotate it around the head with gentle pressure. This helps wish the grinding residue out also. So as we continue to work the glass around the top of the bit and check your progress, you could lift it off. We're just about three quarters of the way through. Reload the sponge by pushing on it. Put the glass back down on top of the bit and continue rotating it around. Once again, let the bit do the work. You don't have to push hard. As it nears the back side of the glass, you want to lighten up, ease off on the pressure. This will help keep it from chipping out the back side. You'll be able to see it come through just like that. A little up and down. You can finish off the back side of the hole by putting it back over. And there you have it. A nice neat hole drilled through.